Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron, and I'm back again with yet another Terrain Series video. Uh, so I always get questions about all the crazy electrical towers, the radio towers, all of that stuff. Um, so I'm going to show you that tonight. It's by a company called Tomitech uh, over in Japan. So I'm going to talk about you know what I did, what I got, what I needed to do to assemble them, where you can find them. So guys, stick around. It's all coming right up. All right, guys. Here they are. Uh, this is this is stuff by Tomi Tech. So this is a it's a Japanese company. They make stuff for model railroads. Uh, and I wanted to show you a few of the pieces that you've seen on our battle reports here from this company. Um, now their stuff is hard to find. Uh, I find it on eBay and I find it on Amazon primarily. Uh, all of these pieces that you see here are N scale. All right. So talk through what I have, I'll talk through how I painted it or what I did to it um, to prep it and get it ready for the table uh, and we'll go from there. So I'm going to start over here. Um, these are actually also Tomy Tech pieces. These are really cool. These are like, uh, you know, reactor stacks. I think I think it's called an oil cooler um, and like everything, I, if I don't need to glue it together, I don't glue it together um, because you never know. You never know. You might want to use it for something else on the table like that might be a standalone piece I'd want to use someday. Uh, but you know, really nice. I mean, it's like a, you know, they're, they're plastic. You don't have to really assemble them. Actually, you know what? I lied. You do have to assemble these. Um, so these come in one, two, three, four, like six pieces maybe. Uh, and the railing is separate. And then this and the fan are separate pieces. These, these, I did have to assemble a whole bunch. I, it's been a while. Um, but you know, once they're glued together, uh, they're good to go. You don't even really need to paint them. Uh, the railings, again, you know, it's an end scale, so the railings might be a little bit tall, but, uh, you know, no one's looking that closely. I think these are not supposed to be windows, but they kind of look like stories, so it sort of fits, even though it's not. Um, you know, even though uh, Battletech is more closer to Z scale than N scale, but there's no doors on here or anything that's really telling, so I really liked these pieces, and I kind of use them as, like, cooling stacks um, to go along with that big hardware studios piece or... Um, just sort of a standalone. Now I did paint these, um, and I did my my traditional like rusty, you know, uh, dystopian future look to it. Um, I also painted the inside of this uh, this reactor, you know, uh, the exhaust uh, stack in black, um, just to kind of give it that more depth uh, appearance there. Um, but these come out of the box painted. Like this is gray. This is you know that color. I didn't prime these. I just painted right over it. The railing is like a silver plastic. So these really come out ready to go. And you can see here's a battle mech. Got my my uh, Avatar Knights catapult here, and uh, it's a pretty good size. You know, it's a pretty good size building. So overall, um, I really like these. Highly recommend them. These are actually not that hard to find as compared to some of the other pieces. And there is like a whole industrial complex you can buy that includes these and some pipes and things like that. I mean, it also comes with a warehouse, and the warehouse is too big uh, because, you know, it's got the doors and the ladders and all that stuff. So it didn't quite, um, you know, didn't quite fit. So the next thing uh, that I'm going to review here are these, uh, these towers. And these are radio towers, and I believe these are called microwave uh, towers or, or something along those lines. But uh, if you Google, you know, Tomy Tech, electrical tower, Tomy Tech, radio tower, like all of these things typically come up um, and you can, you know, you can figure out which one you want based on the appearance. These are not like the cheapest things. Uh, I think they're, you know, I think you can get them for like 30 bucks, but they come in a two pack usually. Just check, make sure you're not getting one of them. Sometimes they resell them and only give you one, um, but it should come in a box of two. And they come in a few different pieces, but the good news is the um, the structural piece at the bottom, it's it's all one, and you can kind of see where the seam is there. Um, and then there's a second piece. You do need to glue on all these, you know, uh, buttresses or whatever they're called, the support beams, um, and the you know the little uh, catwalks, the radio emitters as well. And I think I got a whole bunch more. Um, in fact, I know that I did. Uh, little little boxes and things, but I actually use those as like scatter terrain on like a helipad or things like that because they look like crates. 
um, and you know, I didn't need 8,000 things glued on this. You may, uh, and that's fine, but I didn't. Uh, in terms of prep and paintwork, I only glued this together. Literally did nothing else. Um, everything comes the color that it is, um, you know, the silvers, the browns, and all that stuff, the gray, and I thought that was good enough. I didn't want to mess with it. Um, you know, maybe you could weather it a little bit and add that rust effect to it if you want, or, or you could paint it a totally different color, um, whatever you want to do there. Uh, but these were ready to go. Now these guys, these are like those, you know, microwave type towers. Again, did not paint them. Uh, did have to assemble them, very similar. It's a quick assembly, guys, honestly. Um, you know, those things were a little bit harder. Still very easy, you know, I mean like a basic model kit. These are just kind of like, you, you don't even need to use glue in every case. You can just kind of snap them together. Um, but I used a little glue because Tom, again, tends to knock these things over um, at least 15 times every battle report. <laughs> um, but these are really cool. You know, the, the little, uh, you know, the, the brown emitters, like um, the, the metallic look, the little, uh, if you can see it, the little tiny um, antenna on the top. So I really like these. I would get more of them. Um, absolutely. I, what I was getting down here to show you is the height uh, compared to our battle max. So it's it's substantial. And I did some, uh, of course, I did some Googling uh, on Wikipedia and I was looking like, what's the average height of like one of these things and how tall is a battle mech? It fits. I mean, these things are a range of heights and a range of sizes and a range of widths. Um, so it fits really nicely. Um, so I'm very happy with those. Again, those are N scale, you know, radio towers. Now these things, these things are very cool. Um, and these things are brand new. Um, I just ordered these over the holiday and got them in. Um, also end scale, these things are big, right? So if, if I put this, you know, next to this, right? And I kind of come up here, like you can see it's much bigger. But again, you know, went on the Wikipedia, it tells me everything I need to know. Uh, that's why I give them $5 a year. And so uh, the height is, is good. I mean, I think it's right to scale. Now, I will tell you, these pieces come with, they, they came with an additional bottom piece that was about this tall. Uh, so they would have been like up here, but I did not, uh, I did not put that piece on because I thought that was too big. I'm gonna tell you what I did in terms of paint and prep. Now, these ones were extremely hard to find. So I got two different kinds. From a model perspective, they are identical, but two of them came gray. The other two came like a red and white uh, almost like a, like a candy cane or stripe pattern, you know, um, and I, I couldn't have that. So I spray painted them gray uh, in a flat, you know, just my, my typical um, Rust-Oleum gray. And I didn't do anything else to them. I was going to highlight them and all that other stuff, but I was like, why? They look great as is. Um, these little things you have to glue on. Uh, I, sp I spray painted those flat black. Um, I will tell you the assembly on these is a bit of a pain in the in the butt you have to like each one of these uh, Rails here is like a separate piece and what I did was I assembled it. I glued the rails on I did not glue this end together yet I painted it first and then I made sure that you know There was enough clearance to you know because I didn't want to glue them and then paint and have the glue fill the little hole I'm sorry the paint filled a little hole on the underside um, where these things were supposed to seat in, these little, like, uh, whatever the heck they're called, um, you know, things that hold the wires, basically. So, anyway, that's kind of what I did there. Um, at the top, of course, I added my uh, my little diodes, because I thought that was cool. I was actually on the highway. After I had assembled these, um, and they were actually in a battle report without them, I was driving on the highway, I was like, oh, man, they have lights on the top. I need to go home and put lights on my, my tiny little models. Um... So the only other thing I did was I sanded the bottom. So, and I actually did this to all of these towers, guys. So real simple. I bought, uh, go on Amazon, type in, you know, like craft sandpaper. They sell packs, they're like this thick and they're cheap. They're like 15 bucks. And it's, you know, maybe not the best sandpaper, but like whatever. You get 2000 grit all the way up to like 160 or something like that. You know, with the, the, the lower the grit, like the, the rougher it is. So I didn't like, do anything crazy. I, I grabbed like 300 grit and I put it nice and flat on the table. I took the tower, I put it on there nice and firm and moved it back and forth, up and down, and then in a circle, a couple ways, just to get the filings off, just to get it nice and flat, you know, and it stays, right? It doesn't wobble as much, you know. If you hit the table, you see they wobble, but they don't fall over. You know, 
they're in, they're pretty good. If you're really worried about them falling over, they do come with bases. These ones do. These ones did as well, but the bases are really big because again, I told you there was a there was a bottom piece on there that's much wider. But you could glue them down to a base. You could cut a piece of plastic card. You could 3D print a base if you really were concerned about it. I just think it looks more natural, and from a you know film perspective, I think it looks more realistic. You know, having it sort of like an open base. Um, so anyway, but yeah, that is uh, that's my Tomy Tech collection. These are you know these are like a nice addition to to bring sort of that table realism uh, to life. Uh, you know, uh, I think it's uh, it's a really neat uh, neat collection that I have here of these things. I would definitely buy more. Like I said, maybe a couple more radio towers. Like if I wanted to do like a big farm of them. Uh, but they are tough to find. That's the only downside. But that is it, guys. That's all I got. So that's my uh, that's my Tomy Tech collection. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, leave them in the you know in the comments section. Be happy to answer them. Uh, if you uh, haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, that really helps us out. And all you have to do is click the button. So that's fantastic. Uh, if you want to get more involved, of course, you can join us on Patreon uh, over at. Um, www.patreon.com backslash DFA Wargaming and uh, you know there's three tiers it's little as a dollar a month guys um, you can you can contribute and uh, and get in the community over there you get uh, some sneak peeks and take part in the polls and you know, most importantly it helps out the channel if you're getting four videos a month roughly you know you're giving us a quarter of a video which is uh, which is pretty great so guys thank you so much for watching I hope this was uh, was at least a little bit informative a little quick hit of our uh, of our terrain collection and uh, what else can I say? Stay tuned. Always great stuff coming from Death Room Above Wargaming. Have a good night.